Hi, uh, good morning and welcome back. Today we'll be uh, talking on the topic what happens to an engine without a thermostat. I have chosen this topic because many of my friends and uh, subscribers have asked this question. Uh, what happens to an engine if we don't have a thermostat? So uh, I'm showing this is our engine over here and this is our radiator. So as the engine gets hot, the radiator will cool the engine as the coolant is circulating inside the engine. So where we have the thermostat exactly. So this is our thermostat. It is a gate between the radiator and the engine. So here we have a thermostat. So first we'll learn about what happens to an engine without a thermostat and then we'll talk about what exactly the thermostat will do to an engine. So I'm removing the thermostat away from here so there is no gate here. So what happens is that when we start an engine there will be uh, water or coolant galleries inside the engine to cool the engine because the engine will get hot and that increases that engine if the engine gets more hotter the metal will expand and that will result in the failure of the engine to avoid that we have coolant circulating inside uh, the engine galleries and if there is no thermostat that coolant will circulate through this line with the help of the water pump and reaches the radiator and will circulate inside the radiator lines okay and will start to cool the engine initially itself when we have uh, on the ignition key that means uh, the engine will not be allowed to reach its optimum working temperature in a faster range if you don't have a thermostat for an engine to work with the highest efficiency the engine need to attain its optimum temperature very faster uh, if that is not happening or the engine is getting cooled at a faster rate the proper combustion of the fuel will not happen so the efficiency of the engine will reduce so what happens is that the efficiency factor will actually reduce that's first thing and combustion of the engine will reduce so uh, the second thing is that fuel uh, economy will reduce fuel economy will reduce so that's another factor if you don't have a thermostat but that will not result in any failure of the engine even we can run an engine without a thermostat uh, that will not result in the failure of the engine but it definitely will reduce the efficiency of the engine and the fuel economy uh, will be uh, reduced just because of the fact that the engine is not allowed to attain its optimum temperature because it is getting completely uh, cooled uh, when even get started itself the coolant is started to circulate uh, through the engine but when we have a thermostat what the thermostat exactly does is here we have the thermostat okay so when we start the engine the thermostat will be normally in closed condition that means this coolant will just be circulating inside the engine and it will not be allowed to go towards the radiator to cool if the coolant is not allowed to go to the radiator this system won't be cooling the engine so the engine temperature will rise to about 85 to 95 degrees celsius so that's the range of the optimum temperature of an engine so at this range of temperature an engine will work with the highest efficiency and with the highest fuel economy range so when this particular uh, depends on different engine this range will vary uh, this is just a range because it's a commonly stated uh, uh, degree for this optimum working temperature. So when that particular range is over, this thermostat will just give an opening and will allow the coolant to pass through it and to cool it. Okay. When the engine comes back to this particular range, the thermostat will close again and will not allow the engine to further cool. So it maintains the optimum temperature of the engine but if we don't have the system if you don't have the thermostat the coolant will be circulating always and the engine won't be allowed to attain that particular temperature that optimum temperature or it will take a longer time for the engine to attain the optimum temperature thereby reducing the efficiency of the vehicle and also uh, reducing the fuel economy so that's uh, what's happening if we don't have a thermostat but definitely that won't 
result in the failure of an engine it will only reduce the efficiency of an engine okay so I believe uh, you've got an idea about uh, that particular topic what happens to an engine without a thermostat and uh, it's not recommended to run an engine without a thermostat so uh, definitely it is only been done when a thermostat failure is been noticed and an overheating of the engine is been noticed we just remove the failed thermostat and let the engine works and as fast as we get a, a good working uh, thermostat we'll get make it replaced so if you like this video please click the like button or if you have any doubt please drop a comment you can subscribe to us by clicking the subscribe button so that our daily technical videos will come to your inbox we have an android application so that you can use in your mobile phones to view our video just search for Tech Tricks Info, T E C H T R I X I N F O, in your uh, Play Store, and you can get our Android application. So, have a great day! Thanks for watching.